Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. I'm Rainy with Cycle Gear Guide, and today I'm gonna to be talking to you about Climb's awesome F5 Choroid helmet. First of all, let me tell you, this helmet is awesome. It's super light, super breathable, and super protective, and it's all thanks to the Choroid system that Climb is using. Okay, so what's Choroid? Well, without getting too technical, and here's a good link if you wanna to get too technical, let's go over it for a second. So, Choroid. It was developed by the aerospace industry, which I'm guessing has spent a bunch of time testing and money to develop, so I think it's safe to say it's pretty legit. Now, what do we get as the user? How about 48% more energy absorption? Uh, that's pretty good. I'll take almost double the standard EPS rating, especially when it comes to my brain. So, how does it work its magic? It's all about progressive energy impact absorption. Or the way I put it, what are my chances of being able to ride again after I absolutely smash my head during a crash? Which will happen. Okay, back to the nitty gritty. Compared to normal EPS foam, it outperforms by absorbing and dispersing the impact better because of these really cool hollow green tubes that are all thermally welded together. These are the guys that do all the absorbing. And the green color, well, I'm not sure why they're green, but I think it looks pretty sweet. Extreme heat and cold also have little effect compared to EPS. It gets soft when it's really hot and gets brittle when it's really cold. Now, let's move away from safety and talk about weight and breathability. So, hollow tubes, no wind restriction, minimal material. As soon as you pick up this helmet and put it on, and I'm not kidding, you can't help but notice how light it is. And since it's cold where I am right now, I could actually feel the cool air coming in through the tubes onto my head. Really, really impressive. And when you're riding, the 18 intake vents and eight exhaust ports should really move that heat from inside the helmet out the back. All right, next up, Fidlock chin strap. If you have never used one of these before, then you are really missing out. Gloves on, gloves off, doesn't matter. This has to be one of the best upgrades to helmets in a long time. Just position the two straps close to each other and presto. And to unlock it, just pull down on the red tab and it's off again. Closed, open. Never again will I have to hate the fact that I have my gloves on and have to take on or off my helmet. This system should be on every helmet that's out there. Inside the helmet, the padding has Drylex lining, which is of course removable and washable. We can also see this helmet has the MIPS slip protection, which is starting to become standard on most helmets nowadays and adds just another layer of protection for the rider's head. No surprise, this helmet is DOT and ECE certified. All right, exterior on the F5. The aesthetics I think are pretty awesome. It comes in a bunch of different colors and styles, and with this one, I really love that you can see some of the hand-laid carbon fiber and some of the dark spots. All right, bonus nuggets. This helmet comes in weighing only three pounds, three ounces. It has multiple shell sizes, so it is a little more proportion for different size heads. It comes with a helmet bag, an extra visor, optional breath box, and a windproof headliner. I'm super excited to test this out on the bike and be looking for the link to the on the bike video. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to let me know. And if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, let me know what other gear you might want to see reviewed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.